Hello, I am Bookface, and I actually planned on recording a normal video today, but the funniest thing happened. Yeah, I just went into my recording room, turned on the light, and it just completely shut off on me, so can't really record in there since it's dark. So we're gonna be doing a couple of these videos for a while. I don't know how long it'll take to change the light. How many book faces does it take to change a light bulb? But anyways, that's a problem for another day. But today, we'll be talking about the, the Egyptian gods. Which is probably my favorite pantheon of gods to study. Just cause the Greeks, everybody knows the Greeks. The Norse, a little too war oriented. But the Egyptians, the Egyptians, were just bizarre. <laughs> Almost all the Egyptian gods looked like a person with some kind of animal head, which technically speaking is supposed to be symbolic, but isn't it so much cooler to think that they just imagined their gods were just running around with giant eagle heads or heads of the whatever the crap this thing's supposed to be? So now that we've got that out of the way, let's jump right in. Woo! First we have the god Osiris, who is a god born from the gods Geb and Nut. Be mature, be mature, be mature. And he was also the brother to Set, Isis, who was also his wife, don't ask, Nephthys, and Horus, who was also his son? What? He was seen as the god of alcohol, fertility, vegetation, agriculture, life, death, resurrection, and the afterlife. It's a bit of a roller coaster ride there. Come for the alcohol, leave with the death. That was actually a little more morbid than I intended. And the reason he has such differing roles is that he actually changed the roles he had as a god after he was murdered. In art, he's typically depicted as a green-skinned man who's partially mummified and wearing an atef, which is a form of crown, and holding a crook and flail, which were symbols of the pharaoh. Additionally, the green skin was also supposed to be a symbol of the fact that he died and came back. As well as being father to Horus, he's also the father of Anubis by the goddess Nephthys, who, as you may remember, is also his sister, and also Set's wife. And this family tree is just a giant family circle. Also, yeah, the fact that um, Anubis comes from Set's wife and Osiris may be part of the reason he got murdered. And the way that Horus came to be was a little weird because it actually happened after Osiris died. This is going some very uncomfortable places. When Isis used her magic to resurrect Osiris, then become pregnant, and then he immediately died again. Next we have the god Horus, who actually has two forms, which is Horus the Elder and Horus the Younger, which is just, you know, different names for the mythological inconsistency of who he is. The elder form of Horus is the sibling of Isis, Osiris, Set, and Nephthys. And the younger form is the child of Osiris and Isis. Horus is typically seen as a sky god and is associated with both the sun and the moon. Dang, being a little greedy there. Most commonly, Hathor is his wife, but sometimes she's his mother and or his daughter? I'm very confused. After the death of Osiris, he challenged Set in an event known as the Contendings of Horus and Set, because the Egyptians were very creative at naming things. Hmm, Horus and Set are fighting. What should we call it? Horus and Set fight. Brilliant. In the Contendings of Horus and Set, there were many different fights, which were held to defend Egypt from Set and to determine the new ruler of the kingdom. This is what happens when you don't have elections. You just have to fight to the death. I mean, that might work. This actually went on for over 80 years and involved countless fights, as well as a rather incredibly disgusting incident involving lettuce. Look that up at your own risk. Seriously, it's horrific. In the end, they left it down to one final competition, which was racing boats made of stone. Why? However, Horus decided, you know, as the nice and honorable ruler, that he would cheat. So he just took a wooden boat and painted it to look like it was made of rock. And he won very easily with this because, you know, it didn't sink. In some versions, Set surrendered all of Egypt, gave Horus full control, while other versions say that the kingdom was divided between them, with Horus taking the land and Set taking the sky. Wait, I thought Horus ruled the sky. Whatever. And in some, Horus took civilization and Set took the desert. Lastly, we have the god Set who you may remember is the one who killed his brother Osiris, and if you looked up that other myth, not the best idea, you may also remember him as the one who ate that shady looking lettuce. As stated, he is the brother of Isis, Osiris, Horus, and his wife Nephthys. And of course, he's also uncle to Horus, as well as being his brother. Okay. He's seen as the Egyptian god of chaos, deserts, war, and storms. He's also associated with disorder, foreigners, and the color red. He was also called things like 
the instigator of confusion. Pretty sure that's a math teacher. The destroyer, a little basic, but okay. Lord of the desert and ruler of the south. He was thought to reside in Upper Egypt and in the barren lands beyond Egypt's borders. Also, even though he was associated with chaos, he's commonly cited as one of the gods who fights the monster Apophis, which is an embodiment of chaos. And he also protected the sun bark, which is a type of boat, the sun bark of Ra, the main god in Egyptian myth and sort of the embodiment of order. Later, when the Greeks sort of invaded Egypt, they decided to link him up with the monster Typhon. In myth, Set became jealous of Osiris for becoming pharaoh, and he became even more jealous when Nephthys disguised herself as Isis, Osiris's wife, and then got pregnant with Anubis by Osiris. That's all kinds of messed up. In the end, Set killed Osiris by bringing an ornamental coffin to one of his parties, and he said he'll give the coffin to anyone who can fit in it perfectly. Like some sort of Cinderella thing, except for absolute idiots. Osiris, what were you thinking? So when Osiris got in the box, not surprisingly, Set, and in some accounts, a few servants of his, sealed the box shut and tossed it in the Nile River. Also, in some accounts, Set found Osiris and then cut him into a bunch of pieces with one of his spears. So yeah, there are three gods from Egyptian myth. I had a lot of fun talking about these, so if you like that, please comment down below and I'll gladly do more videos on this. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I just did a video on tree spirits. Go watch that. It's for Team Trees. And I'll see you next time. Bye!